Hi and uh, welcome to Retrotronics YouTube channel. Recently I have been playing with uh, these uh, transceiver modules. Uh, these are like um, NRF 24L01 transceiver modules. And um, uh, initially I played uh, with this module which is uh, which doesn't have a power amp but then uh, I had to switch to uh, this um, module here with a power amp and um, they got a quite a good potential so um, um, but the one uh, one disadvantages of these modules are they don't have a, a CSMA which uh, refers to a carrier sense multiple axis so uh, for an example if two of these modules are uh, if they are talking on one frequency and uh, if a Wi-Fi channel happens to be on the same frequency the communication between uh, these two sensor sensors will get interrupted um, so um, the best way to avoid this is uh, using uh, frequency hopping so uh, I did uh, quite a bit of uh, research on frequency hopping how these uh, um, transceivers can be used for frequency hopping and um, and I came up with this uh, test setup here sorry about the uh, the all the wires the messy wires I'm still uh, doing some research um, still doing some work on this uh, frequency hopping system um, but it works um, very well. Um, I intend to make a um, um, like a, just a module. I mean, I'll I'll, um, I'll take out all these uh, all these wires hanging, and I'll uh, make this module with the, with a microprocessor to do the frequency hopping. So in this setup, I'm using two uh, NRF transceivers. Um, forget about this because I'm not using this. This is a, in, uh, just a NRF transceiver without a power amp. Uh, but at the moment, I'm using these two, and they, they, both of them are equipped with a power amp. Um, they can transmit 100 milliwatts of power. But as I said uh, earlier, they they don't sense the channel before transmitting. So um, if a Wi-Fi um, Wi-Fi channel or uh, other um, transmitting other some other source transmitting on the same channel if there's something like that uh, the, the 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 communication between the, these two devices will get interrupted so what I do here is at the moment this is transmitting and this is receiving this this device here is receiving and that is transmitting not only this is receiving this is this will also transmit an acknowledgement uh, to this device when it receives from this dev device so um, um, when you when you power that receiver it'll um, it'll hop um, on certain channels looking for transmitter once um, it receives the sync from the transmitter then um, they'll both hop to hop together uh, and the receiver will receive uh, transmissions from the transmitter continuously so we will will uh, now see how this works as i said uh, excuse me about these hanging wires i'm still working on this project but i thought it will be a good idea to post a video on this on our channel so everybody can uh, uh, know what I'm doing. So if I switch this on now You'll see um, Actually, there's a This light here is at the moment red Hope um, I'll just turn off some lights All right, I, I turned on, off a uh, few lights so you can see uh, this LED here. At the moment, you can see 
it's still not that visible but uh, that LED is actually a RGB LED and at the moment it is uh, red meaning that uh, this um, uh, it is it is this um, transceiver is transmitting but it is not receiving any acknowledgement from the receiver so um, so at the moment it is red and now if I if I switch this on if I switch this uh, receiver what I'll do I'll just connect the battery and this receiver will switch on and as soon as I switch on it starts receiving the transmissions from the uh, uh, transmitter and you can see it from the beep and the LED flashing and uh, now if you look at the LED it is it'll it'll give you uh, it is flashing uh, in green meaning that uh, it is um, the, the transmissions from the tra uh, this transmitter is getting acknowledged by this receiver here so if I now if I switch this off if I switch the, the if I switch the uh, transmitter off you will see uh, the receiver will stop beeping yeah see now this has stopped transmitting and the receiver um, has stopped beeping and flashing the LED because it's not receiving anything from the uh, uh, transmitter at the moment but at this stage receiver is continuously scanning the frequencies to receive the sync signal from the uh, transmitter and if you switch on the transmitter again you'll see if I switch on the uh, transmitter again you'll see um, receiver will receive the sync from the transmitter and um, frequency hop Let's switch this on yeah see it got sync again now it's 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 receiving transmissions uh, from the device and if I now uh, if I now um, power off the receiver you'll see this LED is red at the moment uh, meaning that whatever the transmissions uh, from the from this device is not getting acknowledged by the receiver and as soon as I plug I power the receiver you'll see that LED will flash in green meaning that uh, uh, that the transmissions are getting acknowledged by the receiver yeah you can see that's great well that's it um, I'm hoping to um, once this is finished once all my tests are done I'm hoping to um, do a, a module or a, a transceiver module um, which um, you know a user can just use the UART to uh, send the packet that they have to send and it will automatically frequency hop and choose a proper channel and uh, that the, the transmitter will use that proper channel to send the transmission to the receiver I'm, I'm hoping to do something like that um, stay tuned I will post uh, that video as soon as I get the new PCBs done uh, thank you for watching um, if you have any questions uh, leave a comment and we will answer you and um, if you have not subscribed uh, please subscribe to our channel thank you very much